guys huh, I knew that I needed to get these videos recorded for you guys so excuse still in my pajama top my workout top slash pajama top and barely out of bed but I wanted to record this video real quick for you guys and what I wanted to talk to you about is how to manage your energy you know how to ground yourself you know on days that you're not feeling okay you know I have some days that I wake up and I feel just really triggered by any little thing that comes my way and it seems like when that happens especially earlier in my day from there you know I'm then triggered by something else and then something else and then it just becomes like this ripple effect and I find myself being triggered all day long and sometimes I can't really put a finger on exactly where it's coming from many times it's not even my own stuff it's somebody else's stuff so I know that the question is can we attract wealth and all good things into our lives when we are feeling low vibe low energy when we are not you know feeling a high frequency on a particular day we not may not be feeling terrible but we just like kind of like feel like something is in the air and normally when I am feeling that way when I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling when I contact you know my friends or some other people that I know even clients it seems like everybody guys is sort of saying like the same thing that they're feeling the same thing energetically so the question is how do I recover you know when I am feeling low energetically the first thing I want to say is go easy on yourself we all have days guys where energetically we are not perfect we're not feeling uh, you know well or right on a particular day we're not in the best mood we're feeling kind of triggered so the first thing I want to say is go easy on yourself we all have days like that some of your days are going to be less than perfect and just because your days are less than perfect or just because the feeling isn't you know that perfect feeling it does not mean that you can't attract wealth abundance love all of those good things in your life just because your frequency is slightly off as far as the feeling that you have so you can relax okay you know life and all good things about life is not canceled because you are not feeling it today we all go through moments where we are not feeling it today so don't feel terrible if that's you on a particular day um so to talk about just some ways that I like to raise my frequency or ways that I like to get grounded when I am feeling off, you know, so feeling off doesn't always feel, isn't always just, I'm just having a terrible day and I know exactly why. Sometimes feeling off is just, I'm feeling kind of triggered today. I don't feel high energy. I don't really feel good about today, but I don't really know why. Um, sometimes we're in, you know, that space. And so that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about how to kind of get yourself out of or up out of being, you know, in that space. So to be transparent, guys, today's Monday. Um, I am preparing to go to Jamaica. Um, and so that's exciting. You know, I'm getting myself together for a trip. Um, but. I haven't felt that high vibe just in general. Um, this weekend, I felt really off. I felt really triggered. I felt triggered on Friday. I felt triggered on <laughs> Saturday. I then carried the feeling over into Sunday. And by like Sunday night, I was just done with people altogether. Really just wanted to go bury myself under the covers and just be done, right? But I have kids and a family and all that kind of stuff. And it's not always that easy, right? When you have other people around. Who need you so today I decided when I get up today as soon as I get up I am going to ground myself I'm going to make sure that my energy is amazing before going into this day because I know that I'm gonna have to record videos I know that I'm gonna have to work to get myself prepared for this trip I'm gonna need to do all this stuff um, but I received a phone call from a family member which is a no for me which is one of my no's for me early in the morning. But because this person was very close to me, I went ahead and answered the call. 
even though my judgment said no. So from there, they began to pour out all of the drama that they were having with another family member out onto me. Before I, in the midst of my meditation time, when I really should have been meditating, I answered my phone. Okay. So I ended up putting my clothes on, just, you know, threw some pants on. I ended up leaving the house um, earlier than I had planned. I ended up not really getting a chance to ground myself like I really wanted to and just kind of being thrown into this drama. Okay. So one of the ways that I like to manage my energy is to try to set boundaries for myself and to protect it at all times. And I have to be honest, it doesn't always 100% work. Sometimes even in the best times when I want to ground myself, I don't have time. I'm thrown into a different direction. I'm thrown into some drama or whatever the situation might be. One of my rules is in the morning, especially during my prayer and meditation time, I normally keep my phone on the charger or away or on do not disturb because when I want to get myself ready for the day, get myself spiritually aware, mentally aware, get myself centered for the day, I don't like to take on other people's ish, you know, first thing in the morning. So the number one way is guys, ground yourself in the mornings and set boundaries for when you sort of turn on your devices and make yourself available to clients, family members, the people around you. If you at all can let family members know and friends know, you know, up until this time, up until 9 a.m. is a time that I like to ground myself, that I like to spend time with myself. These are the moments that I'm doing these things. Um, I need the time and space to be able to do those things. And if they don't respect that, you just don't answer the phone or whatever the case might be. So mistake number one of mine today was honestly answering my phone before I normally do and sort of being thrown into saving or helping, right? Um, Because human nature, when we love someone, we want them to feel better. We want to support. We want to be there for the people in our lives. So when they call, most likely we're not going to say, well, I got to go. Call me back. Let's deal with this later. But don't ever feel bad about setting um, those boundaries for yourself. Um, so another thing I like to do is pray and do a grounding meditation where I put my feet onto the floor and I, you know, turn my meditation music on. I, you know, surround myself with light and I meditate to clear, you know, myself from, from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. And the grounding of putting your feet on the floor is just reminding you that you are planted, you know, that God's got your back, that you're not going anywhere, that you are rooted, that you are in control, right? So I like to do a grounding meditation and that may look different for everybody. Music is sometimes another way that I like to raise my mood. Um, and you know, different days calls for different music. Like some days it's, you know, trap music, you know, other days it could be gospel. It could be whatever I'm in the mood for reggae on that particular day that may help me to sort of raise my mood, feel better about my day. Um, nature, another one is nature getting outside. Like you don't have to go to a park. And walk in a park. Sometimes, guys, it's literally like sitting on your porch um, and, you know, just breathing in the air and just getting some space where you're not in your house or you're not at your job. You're not inside where you're just outdoors. So being out in nature could just look like going out on your porch, going out into your backyard, going to a local track and just walking the track, clearing your head, breathing the air. It really does balance you just getting that fresh air. So, you know, maybe try to relocate yourself, put your feet in the grass, you know, sit outside, you know, um, always works, always helps as a remedy to raise my mood, raise my frequency. Movement. Movement is going to be another thing. So because my day has been thrown off, I haven't had a chance to move yet. So I'm going to do like my upper body workout in a bit. I'm going to lift my weights. I'm going to sweat a little bit. I'm going to get into moving, which 
naturally gives you a high when you move your body and movement may look different for like all of us. Um, It could be yoga, it could be aerobics, it could be whatever else you can imagine, (laughs) okay? When you move your body, um, you know, it could be dance, right? Um, It really, really does help to lift you up. So that's another good way. And the last thing that I would just say is just to let yourself be. There are just some times or some days or some moments where your energy is not going to be perfect. It's not going to be exactly where like you want it to be no matter what you do. And when you just keep nagging yourself about it and you just keep trying to change it and naturally it doesn't want to change, I feel like you make it worse. So sometimes you just have to let it be. You may have to take the day to just say you know what I did have some stuff to do but today is just like a really inward day for me I don't know you may have to binge watch tv or go to the spa or just take yourself out treat yourself to you know something to eat special um it just may be a day where you just have to give in to whatever you need and you may not feel great on a particular day but don't be too hard on yourself about it As I was saying at the beginning of the video, um, your frequency, um, your level of attracting amazing, wonderful things into your life, it will only get affected if you believe, you know, it will be affected. Um, If you just recognize my energy is a little low today, just because my energy is a little low today, I'm not necessarily feeling negative. I'm going to give myself a break today. Sometimes that's just, you know, what it is. So love yourself and I love you. Give yourself a break. You're doing a great job. Give yourself a pat on the back and just let yourself be on on some days. So I hope that this video, you know, has helped um, because I know that now is a time where a lot of us collectively just haven't been feeling right and can't really put our finger on why. Um, there are a lot of things going on in outer space and all that kind of stuff that it's not my expertise to touch on that stuff, but I just wanted to give you guys a few solutions, um, just to help you get through those moments where you are not feeling exactly like yourself. So be blessed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.